Hi, welcome to the system. And that's this one. Article Linux 6.8.6. .6. I'm booted up in i3. I always make a lot of videos on XFCE, but not so often on i3. So here it goes. So old T trash works. That's the wallpaper in the back end, old T. And let's wait till we have a nice one. So old N is the next one, next one, next one. And that's how you navigate around. So the video is not about the wallpaper. The video is about this issue we have now on VirtualBox. And there's another application to test out your uh, virtual machines or your uh, different operating systems, and that's VMware. So this is a VMware Workstation. It's 14.1.2. Uh, and it's, of course, at some point in time, you have to pay for it. So there's an evaluation period. But I never get to it since I always uh, format my SSD so I can always use it and get a license key and enter license key. So you can create stuff and open stuff and mine is already set. I set it to 8 gigabyte, I have 16, so 50-50, one processor with four uh, cores. So, uh, so with eight cores, so I'm giving four uh, to the guest and four to the host. And then our latest uh, build that you can build yourself, at Linux B, remember, build the ISO yourself. So we're waiting for updates from VirtualBox to come. In the meantime, let's start this guest up and let's check out Arco Linux in an operating system. Well, no, in a virtual machine that does not have issues today. There is, well, there is always a challenge. There is a challenge, but there is no issue. You'll see straight on that Arco Linux is built with VirtualBox additions to be beautiful when it starts. But here you see in VMware, we get this very, very small, narrow thingy. So we need to go to the display and we say, hey, we have more pixels than you think. And for me, 1920 on 1080, which is not in there, I've learned that this one is a good one, 1680 on 1050. When we apply it on this thing, I can work. That's no problem. And this becomes big as well. What we're gonna do is a full screen. I believe it's this button, but remember, Control, Alt, Return. And then we're going to make things a bit smaller, like so. I can make it a little bit like this. Ah, always these corners. All right, like something like this, okay? So, next, like always, set everything, the system language, you can set it here, the dates and the locale, you can set it here. Next. Scroll up, look for your keyboard, next, erase everything, give the system all at once, and then Arco Linux. You see already that nothing is freezing up. I would not be able to do all these things, not this, this fluently. Let's just show you that we're not freezing, that we can launch Genie, that we can close Genie, that Ctrl Alt T is working. So it really is today, end of June, yep, 2018, a virtual box issue together with the kernel 4.17, yeah, let's check it out here, 4.17.2-1 gives us issues with the virtual box patches. But as you see, maybe this is a good time to explore VMware. Say, hey, um, that's maybe something that's interesting for me, it's another way of um, taking a look at uh, things. It's a new application. You can check out snapshots. So it means that you, well, take a snapshot. So you freeze the operating system at some point in time, then you continue working and say, oh no, I've completely ruined the system and then go back to the snapshot. So, so if you know Mac already, it's kind of time machine. So you go back in time, so you reset everything. So an easy thing to do, interesting thing to do. Revert back and manage snapshots show the library, show the thumbnail, and the, this full screen thing. So, um, yeah, this is VMware. How do we install VMware, Eric? We go to, let's go out of the full screen. We go to um, this thing, yeah. And then let's open Firefox or something. 
yeah let's close everything up again close other tabs yep all gone um vmware let's see i would go to arc linux d one of those don't matter which one let's see if it's in here it's an aor package anyway if it's not in here we'll have to look somewhere else no nope. and so virtual box is in here vmware workstation it's there so it's a script run the script we need lots of stuff we figured out that we need this and we need that and we need this and we need that so everything is figured out just run the thing and we have enabled elements here as well so we have internet on this vmware thing so go get the script run it and you've got yourself a vmware let's do an old c again and go and watch the installation control alt return so full screen again there is still a remain here i don't know if we can get rid of that we can pin this one but it's still up there which is okay i guess there are already updates coming in only three that's okay and it was yep we've added a logo to the images collection you might have noticed that it's uh, always you can always find it all the information you re require for Arc Linux and the new th stuff that we have will always be made in articles so the latest find out the information about the latest release so we'll make articles but in the meantime before we make an article we find the information here so the beta versions the in-between um, evolution what we changed we have now also Arca Linux B beta editions not only the D so we have three major projects at Arca Linux and for instance we've just shown you this thing so with um, well with the update I mean this will come in and it's a beautiful thing if you have it as a conky on any wallpaper you like so that's that restart done and it is not finding the ISO that's good uh, VMware just throws out the ISO and says I'll boot up with my hard disk and let's make him smarter again display mm, was it this one it was this one apply close so this is workable and you can find out and figure out hey uh, what is this Arch Linux all about you see nothing freezes up that's just um, also proof for you guys that this really is a virtual box thing working together with a kernel that's newer and here are the updates maybe we can do that as well you know I always combine stuff together so what is so special about Arch Linux we tend to install stuff to your home directory but we will not write to your home directory once you've installed the system so that's not done so what do we have left we have an, uh, an etc scale and this one is control h this one contains well the Arch Linux logo we just saw so inside the config inside the conky for me these fonts are a little bit uh, too small so I'll go to appearance to fonts and I'll change them to 11 to 11 and I think it's better if we put it like this slide something changed with Tunar um, we got a new Tunar version a few a week ago maybe maybe two weeks ago and I think the fonts are well changed somehow anyway the conkey and the image so there's a new image and this is the one so okay that's the image that's new and it's not in your system it's in etc scal so you think hey nothing came in sure so control a control c eric control v replace all and now it's also in your own configuration here in the conkey in the images you'll find it because you just copied it 
So it's uh, a matter of um, then just telling him uh, to get that logo and then you can put it on your screen in the middle. It's always in the middle or the bottom or whatever, but standard it's in the middle. Yeah, well, we've been working on uh, Arch Linux plenty of time now. So VMware, it just works. And i3 might be as, again an issue with the size. So super shift X and then control alt M display and that one apply close you'll see hey it doesn't work why so it's not xfce so we have um, x render or a render for that and if you want to set it for uh, let's see resolution is my own resolution in there not yet so i'm gonna take this one there you go and actually if you want to write it so if you click on this one and you say for instance Eric so you know so remember Eric screen layout save quit yeah the conky should be killed kill old conky bye conky and <coughs> alt next for a nicer wallpaper not Toshiba really not how about this one um so yeah um, we save something screen layout <clears throat> just wanted to show you that when we open this one yep okay fine thank you this is the code you need to get inside your i3 configuration and it's a long code it seems It's a long code, but I guess it's too much, way too much, because output virtual 2, oh yeah, <laughs> output virtual 1, 7, 6, he's, I think he's, he's finding all the, the workspaces. <laughs> anyway, it will work, as you see, it is it, it works here as well, so if you copy paste this thing inside your i3, then it will have, uh, when you boot up, you will have this kind of look. All right, um, have fun exploring. Arco Linux, learning, enjoying, cheers.